Hi, my name is Chris. I hiked the AT in 2019 and I will be attempting the PCT this year starting on March 30th. And this is my gear video. This is the Sea to Summit blow up pillow. This is the same exact one I carried on the AT. Uh, it's gotten a little grubby, but it still does the job. Uh, sleeping pad is a Thermarest. The exact same one I carried on the AT. Um, as long as it holds air, I'll keep using it. The, uh, my Puffy is an Arcteric. It's got a few extra patches on it, but it's still keeping me warm. Uh, I've got a fresh hat for the trip. Um, it's the exact same hat that I wore for years while I was roofing. It's an excellent hat and I would highly recommend it. I'll be using the Enlightened Equipment 20 degree quilt. I've used that before and it was great. Um, the stuff sack they gave me was a little tight, so I went ahead and ordered a dry bag from Hilltop Packs with custom printing, and that's kind of fun. Um, instead of just a regular sit pad this year, I decided to try the Gossamer Gear 1 8 inch pad. You can fold it out full length for a nap or under your inflatable pad for a little extra protection. And I added a little hitchhiking aid to the inside. The pack I'll be using is the Arc Blast from z uh, I use this model on the AT. In fact, I thought about using the one I had from the AT, but it got a little beat up and I was afraid it would just be a big old hassle to try to replace on the trail. Um, just a compactor bag as a liner. The tent I'll be using is a Z-Pax duplex with some groundhog steaks. Um, in my kitchen, um, I have a homemade koozie. I went a little overboard and it's double walled. This is the Toke 700. This is the actual one I took on the AT. Um, Toke Spoon, same one I took on the AT. Um, BRS 3000 Stove, and the same one I took on the AT. Um, Sawyer Squeeze, of course. Uh, don't use the minis, they're garbage. The only thing I did is I added this washer with the screen on it. I don't think it'll actually help filter much, but the washer itself is much stronger than the Sawyer washer. So hopefully I'll stop losing them like I did on the AT. Um, just kind of the standard bear bag kit. I lost mine on the AT and so I ended up using my pillow sack as my bear bag kit. Um, coffee? I... I should really just drink out of the pot. I should. Um, I took this on the AT, but probably by the time I was a third of the way done, I'd taken to just throwing a couple instant packets into my water bottle and drinking it in the morning as I walked. But I'm going to try to take a little more time on this trip, maybe enjoy breakfast. Um, my bear bag is from Hilltop Packs, custom printed, which is supposed to be the New Mexico state flag, where I'm from. Now, uh, this is my ground sheet, which I DIY'd out of an emergency blanket, so um, it'll also serve to keep me warm and as a sunshade if need be. Um, just a very small, basic first aid kit small repair kit, mostly just patches, a couple extra washers, needle and thread. Um, microfiber pack towel, very similar to the one I used on the AT. Um, so this, the ever popular neck knife from MT Knives. Um, I added some paracord on the handle and a little ferro rod. Um, electronics are pretty basic, some cords, uh, Night Core NU25. Um, this is actually a wireless temperature gauge that sends to my phone. 
really not necessary, but I thought it'd be fun. Um, Nightcore 20K, um, maybe overkill, maybe not. Um, this is wireless or wired headphones. Um, just a um, GorillaPod tripod. I'm gonna try to document my trip a little better than I did last time. Um, basic bathroom stuff. Uh, basic hygiene um, now the umbrella I'm not even sure if I'm gonna take or not um, I took this on the AT and sent it home after not using it once in two weeks um, I'm from New Mexico and I'm used to desert hiking I don't really think I need it um, but hey, leave a comment and let me think of Tell me if you think I should send it or take it or not. <laughs> um, trekking poles, can't beat the Cascade Mountain Tech, of course. Uh, they're cheap, durable. One pair lasted me through the entire AT. So, I'm not really a watch guy per se, but um, when I found out this had. Um, built-in topo maps i thought it would be worthwhile to get um, it is the phoenix six um, this is a collapsible pen because i will be doing some geocaching along the way um, shoes i'm taking the ultra olympus i use the ultra lone peak on the at but i wanted something with maybe a little more padding Try to save my feet a little bit. Just kind of a generic knee brace here. Um, Columbia convertible pants. Pretty basic. They're super thin, should dry quick. Um, two pairs of underwear, because hey, you never really know. Socks, uh, I know everybody likes the Darn Tufts, but I really like these right socks. Um, they have the built-in liner. Uh, they're super comfortable for me. Um, that's what I wore on the AT. Um, although I did go back and forth with the uh, Darn Tufts. Um, this is a buff, it's just kind of fun. I bought it from the Trek and it's got a bunch of different little landmarks along the PCT. Gloves are um, possum down from Z-Packs, um, but I added a little grip paint on there, and we'll see how long that holds up. Um, beanie is possum down from Z-Packs. Um, super warm. This is a REI Sahara Sun Hoodie, and I've never actually hiked in a Sun Hoodie, so that's going to be a new experience. Um, these are anti-gravity rain pants, uh, the ones I wore on the AT, and honestly, I really only wore them when I was doing laundry in a few days when the wind was pretty bad. Um, uh, this is the Frog Tog rain jacket. I started the AT with a what was supposed to be a good rain jacket, and it just kind of sucked, and I switched to the Frog Tog. It doesn't have any pockets, doesn't have any pit zips, but it kept me perfectly dry in the worst rain. Um, and that's all I could really ask for. Also, I buy the extra, extra large, so it comes down over my butt and keeps my shorts a little bit dry. Um, so then I have some stuff that will be sent to Kennedy Meadows for the Sierras. Um, these are some seal skin socks. Uh, I've never worn these. But it sounded like a good idea. Um, and because the right socks are super thin, um, I'm going to switch them out to the darn tufts um, that are just thicker. Um, so um, these three I started the AT with, and they're like sleeping socks, thermal shirt, thermal leggings. I wore them the first night, um, never wore them again, sent them home like three weeks later. Um, but seemed like a good idea for the Sierras this year. Um, and I added another uh, dry sack from Hilltop Packs uh, just to keep that stuff a little drier. Um, these are my micro spikes. 
I'll probably send those to Paradox Cafe. Um, and I don't have my ice axe yet, um, but I'll be using the Black Diamond Raven and then my bear canister. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you got any comments or suggestions, uh, please leave them below and I'll be linking my lighter pack if you want to take a closer look at my gear. Thanks.